Okay, so um, what I'm going to show off is my uh, arcade cabinet. It's a uh, cocktail style sit down uh, vertical arcade machine uh, housing a 19 inch television screen uh, connected to an Athlon 800 megahertz processor with 384 megabytes of RAM. Um, and it runs uh, a version of FreeDOS, FreeDOS version 1.0, um, and plays uh, vanilla DOS MAME um, version point. 106, which is the last version of DOS main that was uh, was released before they rewrote the video and dropped support for DOS. Um, now, this machine uh, also has uh, a set of push buttons, which I ordered off eBay for uh, for about seven or eight dollars total. And uh, then the half competition joysticks, uh, and they are wired up internally through a, a keyboard hack um, to support, you know, maybe ten inputs or so. So each player gets a, a joystick and three sets of buttons, uh, and in, in addition there's a coin button and an exit button. Uh, and then I went with the uh, the standard MAME logo artwork under a sheet of one-eighth inch glass because you can't really go wrong with the MAME logo. So uh, let me go ahead and turn it on and demonstrate how it works. So one advantage to using DOS as the uh, operating system for the arcade machine is that it boots up very quickly. Uh, this old PC takes uh, maybe 30 seconds to boot into a usable menu and start playing. <laughs> now the front end itself is Arcade OS 2.52. Um, and it's configured to play 729 different games, although I haven't gone through and tested a lot of these, so many of them may be um, out of spec for this old hardware. Uh, but it does handle all the classics easily. Galaga, Dig Dug, uh, you know, Galaxian, Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, etc. I play fine. Um, the actual arcade OS controls are pretty straightforward. Up and down to advance or go back to games. Left and right to skip page at a time. And then you got the three buttons here. Uh, first yellow one to select a game, second one here to choose a random game, and the one gives you the Arcade OS info, which um, is not all that useful, but it's interesting to look at sometimes. So I will go ahead and show off a game of Donkey Kong. I'm going to take a little while to load, and then uh, you know, show you the nice loading screen. So this is Donkey Kong. Green button to insert some credits. Yellow button to start. Okay. So here we go. I'm not the best at this. Obviously, Steve Weeby is not in any immediate danger for me, but uh, maybe someday. And then uh, the blue button here, exit the game, take you back to the main menu. Uh, now, the two player controls are really cool. Um, the second player is basically a mirror of the first, except without the coin and uh, exit buttons. And so, uh, there's a lot of games that will uh, flip the screen when it's the opposite player's turn. So, you know, we play a turn based game, or uh, some of them, which are top down, work a little bit better for multiple players, like. Uh, Warlords and Gauntlet will play just fine across the table. So let me go ahead and uh, pause this for a second and show the insides of the machine. Looking at here is the back of the machine. Uh, the back door has been attached with a couple of hinges up here and a nice little cabinet door lock here that I can take out the keys and remove so that the kids don't get in and start messing around with the things inside. And then power cable coming out this little notch here. Open her up. And uh, there's quite a few things inside here. I'm just going to pull the camera a little bit closer. Alright, so off to the bottom left, there's the uh, computer power supply. Then, uh, immediately following that is the 20 gig hard drive that's kind of screwed into the bottom and has a little pair of pants underneath to dampen the sound. Uh, there is a, a speaker on the left and right. These are just some no-name brand uh, PC speakers. 
uh, that produced a lot of enough sounds for me. Uh, the AC adapter, I didn't actually have the original, so I had to hack on a separate one. It's a little bit underpowered, but it's enough for this small room. Um, against the back wall, screwed in there, would be the uh, keyboard hack. Uh, and that's uh, been an interesting experience trying to use a keyboard hack instead of a dedicated keyboard encoder, but it works fine for this application. And then down below that is the uh, actual PC, the ATI Rage Pro uh, graphics card driving the monitor with a uh, standard composite power cable. Um, and then right here on the entrance, which is can't really see in this shop, but uh, there's the uh, power supply. It's just a standard power supply storage strip. And then on the far right, spare keyboard in case I need to plug one in and do some maintenance. And at the top, this is the other side of the TV here, uh, which has been decased to make sure you can fit everything in. So definitely need to keep this door locked when there's uh, people around who might be interested in getting into it because it's kind of a hazard. Anyway, that pretty much wraps it up for the. Uh, blue main machine here that I built and uh, I think it'll be a little while before I build another project. Alright, well, that's it.